Hi, bet you thought you got rid of me and then I came back. Um, okay, basically, because I went on holiday um, a couple of months ago, I had a list of like all the stuff I needed to pack and take with me on holiday. So I just was going through all my stuff and then I came across this list of like makeup that I was going to take on holiday. So I just thought that I would kind of show you what makeup I need when I take on holiday and I know it looks like quite a lot but I would say I honestly used pretty much everything in my makeup bag so um, this is the bag I took with me on holiday it looks a lot bigger but it's actually not as big as it looks but this is, has everything from like foundation to um, eyelash curlers and everything else so I mean all my other toiletry stuff like my uh, face creams and cotton pads and stuff kind of went in my toiletry bag but I just wanted to show you what actual cosmetic stuff I took with me on holiday so I'm hoping this is going to be fairly quick because yeah I'm just hoping for your sake I don't take too long okay so I think I'll start with the bottom stuff so the first thing I would usually apply after my moisturizer and after washing my face is this cover FX uh, primer it's a matte foundation primer and anti-acne treatment gel so you can also use it by itself to kind of help with acne or you can use it um, underneath your foundation as like a primer so that's the first thing I took and then once you've got that on Obviously the next thing you want then is your foundation. So the foundation I took with me obviously was my best friend here, which is my Studio Fix. I took, um, I had a couple of different colours, but I took the darker one because that's the one that I'm going to need when I'm on holiday. So I only took one with me and then I took concealer. With concealer, I actually took a couple of different concealers. So I took my uh, Pro Longwear for my blemishes on my face and then I took my Studio Fix actually for under my eye. I prefer the Studio Fix for under my eye just because it's a little bit thicker and it just, I don't know, I just prefer it to be honest. But I, I interchange between the two but on holiday I prefer a little bit more coverage under the eye. So that's my concealer. Um, once I've done all the face stuff I will then actually powder my face just to hold everything in place this is more for like the evening makeup rather than some stuff I would do like in the day because obviously nobody wants to cover their face in this stuff during the day um, and then I just took my mineralized skin finish natural in medium deep and um, I tend to use this more on holidays because my skin's darker and it's a little bit too dark for my skin but it looks really good when you're on holiday because you're going for the tan look anyway and then I'll apply this with one of these and just kind of brush it all around once I've done that I'll use the same brush and go into my bronzer which is my MAC uh, refined deeper bronze bronzer and then I'll just kind of put that in the places where I want to look a bit more tanned obviously and um, so that's the bronzer I use I kind of interchange between the bronzes as well but that was the one I took on holiday with me um, I then got like a highlighter and a blush in one to stop me having to take like six different blushes and the one I took with me was my MAC mineralized skin finish um, semi precious in rose quartz so it's got the I don't know if you can see that it's got the highlight bit in the middle and then the pink blush around the edge which is great because it means you can get both done at the same time save a bit of time um, and the brush I probably would have taken with me is just my 129 brush by MAC um, and then basically eye stuff was all quite straightforward I took my lemonade because that goes with me everywhere um, so once I've got the lemonade on, the only two palettes I took with me are um, the Benefits Big Beautiful Eyes because it's a neutrally sort of palette. So you've got like your highlight colour, you've got your lid colour and then you've got your crease colour. And then you've got like this concealer which I have to say is a bit too light for me but I can use it as a highlight. And then I, for a bit more colour if I wanted something for the evenings I'd go for my Urban Decay Ammo palette. Um, and I get so much use out of this because honestly it's so versatile and it just does so much stuff and I love it. Um, so they're the only two palettes I took with me. But other stuff relating to eyes, I've got um, obviously my brushes, which I'll finish for you afterwards. But you've got the, I've got a brown eyeliner pencil. I also took a black eyeliner pencil with me as well and a liquid liner. Um, so I got like... 
sorry, this is such a state. Um, my bourgeois liquid liner and then just a random black eye pencil and then a brown one. So I think you need a black and a brown anyway. And then I took liquid because actually I find it a bit quicker to do liquid liner because I just find with pencil, like it just goes everywhere and it gets all smudgy. And then I've got my eyelash curlers and my mascara. The one I took on holiday with me, because I just bought it and I was really excited about using it, it's the Lash Architect 4D by L'Oreal. And then took those with me as well. Um, I think that's all I've got for eyes apart from the brushes which I will just quickly go through because I don't really know if anyone's going to be interested in my brushes but that I tend to use because it's like a fluffy oh god there's still stuff coming off it because um, that's just like a fluffy brush I just use that just for my brow bone the 239 obviously I use for packing on colour um, this little dome one called the round contour brush is from Coastal Sense just to literally do the outer corner and then I have the the 224 which I either actually use for concealer if I've got some hefty volcano that I need to cover up or I will use this just for a wash of colour like in the crease or something and then obviously the 217 which I can't really live without and as you can see it's like it's just disgusting um, so those are all the brushes I took for my eyes and then the only foundation brush I took was this 130 because it just gets everywhere, you just don't need any other brush when you've got this one. I never use these kind of brushes for my foundation. I bought this because the woman told me to buy it and I, I don't think I've ever used it to be honest. I just find that it's really streaky and I just find that you end up wasting like a lot of product because it all gets stuck in the bristles so I just thought I'd scrap that. Um, I also took this little spot treatment thing just because obviously if you're wearing makeup and it's getting hot your pores are likely to get clogged up and you know it's not nice so I um, took this just for teas in the evenings for after I've taken my makeup off which I use on a regular basis anyway but I have like my Panoxyl and then I've got my Clinique one then I've got some tea tree stuff so I just kind of took whatever I felt like um, for lip stuff I think that's the only stuff I've got left is my lip stuff oh no wait I've got a um, I've got a pencil that I got from um, Mac Pro and it's just NW25 NC30 chromographic pencil and basically it's a really light light colour it's just the one there and it's basically just for like inner rim of the eye because I said I don't really like putting dark colours on the inner rim I'll put it on the lash line but I won't put it on the inner rim just because it closes my eyes up too much and I don't have the biggest eyes in the world so I use that just to open up and I have to say like this is a really good purchase everyone should go out and get one of these um, and then I've got a couple of lip pencils I took Saw by MAC which is a really nice pink colour I might just swatch that for you guys so you can see it. It's just the one underneath, which is just a really nice sort of pinky brownie colour. And then I've got Plum, which I wear a lot when I wear like my Mystic Mauve and stuff like that, which is just under, it's just a little bit darker. And then I've got like my trusty Rimmel Cappuccino pencil, which I have been using since I think I first started wearing makeup. So, and it's just one of those ones that I will always, always, always get back to. It's just a slightly browner, but it's just dark enough so that it just outlines my lips a little bit and just defines them a little bit more. And then I took like four lip products with me. One was just this Inglo lip duo thing. So you've got two sides, it's like a little cube and you've got two sides to it and on one side you've got like a non-shimmery one and the other side you've got like a bit shimmery one so what I tended to do was to put that like and dab it kind of all over my lips and then just put like a blob of that right in the middle just to kind of give it a bit of shine. I didn't take any glosses or anything like that, this is literally all I took with me for like, you know for like daytime and stuff. And then I took a nude lipstick which is Pinky Beige by Maybelline 721 and it just looks like that. Really nice everyday kind of to the beach sort of colour. And then I took this um, slightly lighter, lighter pink which is Latino and it's 200 also by Rimmel. It looks kind of bright but it's a really really sheer pink colour. And then lastly I took this uh, Rimmel London Kate Moss lipstick that she well her kind of new line and it's like this slightly darker pink and it's in 05 
and they just smell so good. I don't understand why they make lipstick smell this good um, because it just makes you want to eat it and it, it's got this little crowny thing. I love how I can zoom and you can actually see stuff. Anyway, that's it. That's all I took with me and my bag's empty. Thank you so much for watching and have a great new year if I don't make any videos before that and mwah, thanks a lot.